Hey everybody, welcome to Full of Useless Information. My name is Beth Bond. Let me get switched over. And welcome to today's scope. We're doing it a little bit earlier today. I did it yesterday and at 5.30 it was packed. And um, so I felt like if I maybe if I did it at noontime that we'd have more people. Hey Larry from Florida, if you're joining us and this is your first scope or this is your first scope watching with me, just give me a shout out and let me know where you're from and, and I'll, I'll make sure to give you a welcome. Also, if you find some of the information um, I'm using useful, you can tap on the screen um, to let me know that what, what, what I'm talking about is relevant. So today is, I know, okay, so it's Friday. So, you know, you might as well have a fun Friday. And my motto is, if it's, it's not a party until the cops show up. So I decided that we would talk about lionfish. Um, and it is actually a very serious topic, but at the same time, um, very, very um, fun. And the reason I found out, hey, Minlay09, um, if you just type in your name, if you're joining us, just type your name in and where you're from. That'll be great so I can give you a shout out. Um, anyway, so we, um, so let me just introduce myself. My name is Beth Bond. I am the curator of Sustainable News at Southeast Green. We are the largest online news site for sustainable business and environmental policy news. We cover news from Florida to Texas and Maryland and Virginia and everywhere in between. And we are based out of Atlanta. And uh, Southeast Green has been around for seven years now. And uh, we, 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 we cover it all. And one of the things we cover is lionfish. Hi, we've got a Puerto Rico, and thank you for joining us. I know that lionfish are an issue for you, too. Um, so the reason I found out about um, lionfish was because I was watching Shark Tank. So that was another reason I decided to do lionfish on, um, on, a, on a Friday. Hi, Sunshine Bubbles. And so what happened was is these two guys from Minnesota decided they were going to solve the lionfish problem for folks down in Florida, and um, they did not get funding. But it really led me uh, to start exploring the topic of lionfish. And I have an online uh, radio show called Speaking of Green, and I will include the link. I save all my scopes to YouTube and include links to the articles and uh, interviews I talk about in the show. So if you want to come back and get more information, because I talk too fast, which is one of the things I've learned about scoping, uh, you can always check it out on YouTube, or we're going to post all of them under Full of Useless Information over on Southeast Green. So anyway, they were trying to get funding to help eliminate the issue of lionfish because it turns out that lionfish are not indigenous and they have someone, you know, had a pretty lionfish at some point and dumped it out of their fish tank and now it has become a huge, massive problem all over Florida. Um, don't forget, if you like what I'm talking about, to just tap on the screen, give me some hearts to know that, you know, hey, this is pretty cool, that would be great. Hearts hearts make things know that I'm, I'm uh, uh, resounding with the, the folks who are listening. So anyway, lionfish now have spread up up the entire coast, eastern coast of Florida, and are now um, approaching Georgia. They've approached the entire, they've swum around um, the, the Keys, and they've swum all the way up to uh, uh, the Panhandle, which is where my brother lives, and uh, Pensacola area, and is now moving to Alabama. And if you move to Alabama, well, you're in Mississippi, let's be honest. So, um, the very, very short coastline. And it's the same thing for Georgia. Georgia's only 90 miles of coast, so lionfish are going to be an issue in South Carolina, especially as waters are warming. So anyway, so I interviewed a guy down in Florida who is the director of uh, their marine earth, uh, fisheries and um, the estuaries where all the breeding goes on. And lionfish, because they are originally from Asia, they have no... Uh, natural predator in in uh, the U.S. or the U.S. coast and Bahamas and Puerto Rico and in the Caribbean, it's is they're taking over and they eat all the little babies and so in the estuaries so they're a huge problem. The other thing is is they're very smart. They do not like to be caught on a hook. So really, the only way to catch them is by um, harpooning. And so people who you know are trying to help who aren't good with the harpoon. Um, are actually damaging the reefs. So lionfish are really a big problem, and there's a really easy way that all of us can help um, eliminate this issue, which is to make it commercially viable. So what what my goal is today is, now I have never had it, but I if, if I was someplace where it was available, I would definitely try it. They say it tastes like flounder, and um, if you all have not had flounder, 
Flounder is delicious, and it is a Gulf Coast specialty. I grew up with my grandmother ordering flounder every time we went to a seafood restaurant. So if you will start asking for, um, in your foodie locations, wherever they be, especially in Florida on the Gulf Coast and in the southeast, um, for lionfish to prove that we can uh, create a viable market for it, then we can help alleviate the issue in Florida. So if you want to... Hi, Simon. Thanks for joining. If you want to help, um, I will be posting a link to the uh, interview that I did. I also have an article called Lionfish, the New Flounder on Southeast Green, and so you can check it out there. And um, we hope that by making this one small change of asking to eat uh, lionfish that we can actually help save the estuaries along the Gulf Coast and uh, the, the uh, southern elite southeastern Atlantic seaboard. So um, if anybody has any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. So I want to thank everyone so much for joining me today on uh, The Scope. Uh, just so you know, I am big, big social media person. Um, I am most active on Twitter and my uh, handle is Beth S. E. Green, the same as it is on Periscope. Um, I would appreciate you following. If, you, if you're into sustainability and green, we're going to be covering everything. We've already covered recycling. We've already um, talked about solar. And then um, the other thing that I'm really famous for is tweeting live from events. So um, I've got a couple of events coming up, and they can be anything. It could be a solar event. It could be um, I'll be up at Expo East. Uh, which is the big natural food show on the East Coast. I'll be tweeting for two days straight there. Um, if you're in, so if you're into environmental policy or anything like that, I would hope that you would give me a follow. And thanks so much for joining the Scope today.